Welcome to a ZK a large team game. With in the West, we've got a cloakbots, a jump bots, hovers, no factory yet. We've got spiders, no factory because they seem to be AFK since the mouse is also stationary completely. Who else? Well, we've also got oh come on. There we go. Spiders and more jump bots. And well another non-factory. On this side, well. That's gunship for you, spiders, cloak bots, including cloak plates, because silent AI wants to do something else. I don't yet know what they want to do since they're already going for pylons. Sure. Yo, Mika doesn't have a factory yet. We've got cloak bots, we've got rovers, spiders, and more rovers. And, well, hey, jump bots. And no factory yet. Why do you have a caretaker? Did you accidentally forget your factory? Even then, already a caretaker is a bit quick. That's the second one. Um, right. Maybe not the best player. The focus on right now. Anyways, let's take away those. And he hovers there for Fumika. Right. Little Pyros fighting. Yep, okay. Matt Laser already a little bit far forwards, but... Well, level 2 commander already fighting real well. But here, Mertile is also with a high DPS commander. Though, of course, Recon, so less optimized for fighting. Then, well, topside, it's also, like, not that interesting yet. I mean, Team West has got this point, which is really nice because, well, this is a 5.3 metal, metal extractor. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a whole, whole lot. Uh, and this one as well. Right now, Team West, even though they've got those, is behind in economy. Strangely enough. Just because of Overdrive, which, well, might be because of Silent AI. With their pylons and all that. But I'm not completely sure. Right, no. But that does mean that, well... As soon as you catch up with Overdrive, you'll be ahead quite a lot. Because these are really good to Overdrive as well. Since they're already high base metal. And then, of course, overdriving that makes it even better. Right. Glaives can't really do anything, and against Redpack, they'll just die. But the Redpack does also go down. Right. Over here, well, we've got fences. Fences are really good at holding off enemies, and Moderator was killed. Right. 429% attrition, that's already really, really good for Team West. And, well, looking at economy, they're already quite a bit ahead as well. So, help indeed. Team East needs a lot of help somehow. Venoms, well, might be able to do something. Scythe probably won't be able to do a lot. And, you choose Engineer? Did you only now join? I mean, I see that you're AFK according to the game. So, maybe? I mean, ping of 173 seconds? Well then. Uh, that sounds about right, if you're only now choosing your commander. So, Rar, moving forward quite a bit. I mean, this is dangerous. Set it on fire only on things you see. Goodbye. Blaze moving forward and, oh no, 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 phantoms. Ooh. Discovering phantoms is really bad, or really good, depending on how you look at it. Having your phantoms be discovered is not a good thing, generally. And, well, they know that there are two of them. But, well, Rar does need to go back because the glaives weren't focusing on them, and they do survive. Over here, well, Nimbus, one only right now, will be slowly pushing this position, or at least, like, getting a little bit of attrition done. But it's all not too bad. Over here, we do have shield pots now. And soon we'll have Strider Hub. And hey, there come the airplanes. Right. Rawr! Rawr! Many spiders. Sh uh, snipers. And goodbye for this person who's drawing. I don't care. Pyros, generally good raiders. Raider riots, but not against phantoms. They're relatively slow and they do get shot down easily. You don't have numbers, which you need against phantoms. Up north, well, still just the Nimbus being annoying. But I don't know, what do we have here? I mean, 
It's not too bad, it's just a placeholder and a single jack. Uh, but jack does 300 DPS, has 6000 HP. And placeholder, though it isn't that strong, is able to keep units in place, of course. And, well, Hoppy's coming in now, so it should be cleaned up relatively easily. Hoppy's slowing down the jack, making it so that you only have like 150 DPS. And now all of the other units, which outrange them, jack will slowly but surely go down. There goes the placeholder, and now just glaive to clean up the jack. There it goes. Good. So, over there, badges. Getting kinda close, that's not good. And goodbye to your drawing. Over here, Lance out, so they will have good firepower for Team West. Over here, Flea being a little annoying. And against AA, it's no big deal. Also, where... What was discovering you? I don't know. Anyways, over here, a lot of Fleas being constructed. Fusion generators or reactors are coming out, and we do now have gunship land. Right. That means that, well, Team East will not be the only one with air support. I know that there was already an airplane plant for Team West a little earlier on. But, I mean, Nimbus do have a lot more staying power compared to a Leco or a Raven. And cleaning up Badger Mind's claws is, of course, really, really nice. I mean, it's not much, and Firewalker is probably a more efficient way to do so, but still. Against things like Stingers, then your Nimbus is probably better. Over here, Pensa being annoying and killing a Metal Extractor. But, oh no, I mean... Economy is actually really even, but look at the attrition. It's 150%. That's not great for Team East. Over here, Spider v Spider, they do have a hill, but they don't have Recluse, so they can't really, like, lob over the hill. So, that's yeah, not too bad. And a lot of moderators as well for high alpha damage. Right, I mean, Red Pack in range of the Recluse, that's really good for Team East. And, well, this is even better. Reeve is in range, but only one was shooting. Red Pack only now goes down. And, well, Recluse missing with most of their missiles. Which means that, yeah, it's still alive, that Reaver. Yummy will come in and just clean it up with the commander. Right. It does mean, however, that the push was kind of stopped because there aren't that many spiders left. And getting close with your moderator is probably not a good idea due to all of those assaults. The hermits. Over here now, already three little numbers and oh, the crab wasn't armored up and it will die. That was a waste of a crab. And that means 640 metal to reclaim. By whoever wants to. Right, Flea is just a scout, and well, scouting is important to those fa uh, phantoms. And placeholders, I mean, sure, you can use them. I don't like them. Personally, but hey. I guess they're useful in some circumstances, but a lot of them, like two or three at a time, I don't know how effective that's going to be. Right, over here, well, Recluse are here, Recluse are shooting, and Hermits, yeah. Hermits against Recluse, not a great idea. Moderator coming in now, I guess there aren't that many Hermits left. And Sink issues, ooh, that's annoying. But I did already kinda know that was going to happen. Anyways, moderators now going back to heal, and Hermit has been cleaned up. That means that this position is gone. Get all of the reclaim you can, which you're doing, but after that, uh, yeah, it's all gone. But now Crab coming in. Crab, when armored up, really good nice. Really, really nice. Since, well, it's hard to damage it, and it already has quite a lot of HP, 4200, and that effectively goes times 3 when armored up. In the middle, south middle, depending on how you want to look at it, and go away taxed. A lot of Nimbus now for Team East, right? But, uh, well, not really sure what happened here, Commander, but uh, I see your uh, blade of plates and all that. Uh, yeah, not exactly great. 
And Jack's now coming in, Assault's coming in in terms of Ravagers. But Glaives should be able to clean that up quite okay, since, well, they're longer range than the Jack, so they shouldn't really be hurt too much unless they run into the Jack, of course. And whee, Jack. Flying Jack. Right, over here, Lost Ravager should be cleaned up by the Reaver, and indeed it is. So, Raptors. Who likes Raptors? Well, apparently, um, who is it? Silent AI like Raptors. I don't. But over here, well, Crab goes down, Crab gets raised up, and we'll be shooting at the Weaver. That's not very nice. Zooming out a little bit more, and the Pizza House. I hope you're able to join later on again, but it's currently not looking good for you. Glaives could move forward to kill the Kunia, but they don't know it is there, since it is, well, cloaked. The area cloaker. However, using your glaive just to keep this position away from Team West, I mean, killing those caretakers, for instance, is really important because there is a lot of reclaim. More than 4,000 reclaim. Yeah, that's a lot. And, well, currently there is nothing really here for Team West to reclaim all of that. Whereas Team East will soon have a caretaker. Down in the ground, which means it is relatively safe. But it's, of course, not perfectly safe. Or things like firewalkers, impalers, that kind of thing. Over here, phantoms. There are five of them. Should easily be discovered by such a firewalker. Claws shouldn't be that effective due to, due to the firewalker. And fleas making damn good cast. Even just cleaning up these claws. I mean, yeah, claw is only five and it's technically free if you're shooting it. Yeah, I know. But, uh... Still not too bad, just to use them as mine, uh, mine leaders, even though your Nimbus or Firewalker would probably be better. Over here, we do already have a Merlin coming out, a Strider, there it is, Artillery Strider. Even though there isn't that much of a, like, fortified position, so it might not make the most sense right now. It's still expensive. And, well, it would be helpful over here, but that's about it. Yeah. Um, and this position as well, I mean, your crabs are right here. So, yeah. As long as they don't get shot by the moderators or stunned by the... by the racketeers, it shouldn't be too bad for these crabs. One of them is already gone because it wasn't armored up well. And yeah, in that case, moderators, nine of them, that's, uh, I don't know, like 4,500, something like that, 3,500, uh, yeah, like 4,000 insta shot, or like alpha damage. So, go away is one guy. Over here, well, firewalkers pushing forwards does mean that you can't really throw your mind that far forwards. Because otherwise they would be cleaned up. But again, great for scouting against phantoms. And of course, just general nuisance. Useful against fleas and such. But those aren't really a problem right now. Anyways, I guess Merlin would be good just to scout or like kill the, the lances. But eh. I feel like other units, just like assaults or something, would be more useful right now. Just to push in here, rather than use artillery. Or even just glaives, as in raiders. Raiders wouldn't be bad either. Raiders are good against the phantoms. And also, like, quite useful against lawns. Because, ooh, no, watch it with your commander and, ooh, deputy house. I know, sink error and all that, so maybe that's why they weren't paying attention to it. But uh, that wasn't good for you. Anyways, over there, well, that was exactly what the Merlin needed to do. Killing phantoms and all that. Didn't kill the lance, sadly enough, for Team East. But still doing quite well. Let's look at economies and all that kind of thing. Over here, well, first singularity is out. Everything is nice and joined up. Second singularity up as well, and the third is being constructed. And there is also a third here, and the fourth is being constructed in that case. Anyways, Widows moving forwards, Venom's moving forwards a little bit. Not too bad, Snitches will be fine, but over here, well, 
look at the economy. It's almost 50 or like about... Well, 1500, that's good for you. No, a uh, lot more economy for Team West right now. And no singularities on Team East, not even planned. Yes, they do have geothermals, which well, are also really nice. But, well, let's see what this widow can discover. Are you just going to scout? Because, of course, that's useful. I mean, it's a really good scout. The widow. Yes, it's expensive, but it's not that easy to discover. Because, look, tiny range, but still good. Sight. Really good, even. Right. Uh, oh, that was so lucky. Lucky, lucky snitches. However, these phantoms might not be so lucky. They're convict, please. And that's one discovered. And the other will probably die due to trade rockets, I wanted to say. But apparently not. Even things you can't see, you're missing. Recluse. And over here, snitches. Fire. Generally not a good idea. Do get... Oh, no, 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 no. Taking your sweet old time and boom. Yeah, I mean, just be glad they didn't get your Merlin. But that was an effective double snitch. Ouch. Over here, well, pushing forwards with dots, not going to be the most effective, but at least, well, pushing units back. All good. Caretaker, nice on the water, sure. Doesn't save you from fire, sadly. And healing up other caretakers. I mean, I guess that's holding a position. And over here, well, the lance. Pretty much on their own. And, uh, should really be coiled by these glaives and all that. But oh well. I mean, they'll go down to the Nimbus anyways, so it's not a big deal. But, uh, yeah. Over here now, Hermit's moving forward as well, as I said. Raiders and assaults, probably a better use to push this position than artillery. But I mean, artillery too is working. Since why wouldn't it be working? Over here, another widow is sneaking in. Could be useful later on when there are anti nukes and you want to nuke them. But not for now. Cerberus is going to be up in a couple of seconds. And, well, Anti-Nuke on Team West's side are going to be up soon. One of them is already up, the other will be soon. So, 90%, yep, and it is finished. However, it does not have a grid, which is sad. You really need to fix that. As in, you really, really need to do that. And I don't even see who is going to do that, except for these, maybe. Eh, nope, they're not. Why don't you grit this up? Oh, okay, there it is. I guess I missed these. Oh. Oh well. Roar! Um. Whee! Flying commander, and that means in enemy territory. However, these are artillery pieces. They generally don't have a lot of DPS. The commander is in heavy damage territory. It's very much in danger. It should die. But it did actually kill a little bit more than it probably should have. It was still able to kill one or even two firewalkers. That's still nine, uh, 1800 value. If it indeed killed two. But there goes the commander. So. Also, Juggernaut died. Even though, well, probably didn't need to happen. But I don't know what HP it was on. Up north, well... Team West is pushing, but now a silent AI with a Strider. Dante, the Assault Riot Strider pushing forward, and that is danger. Of course, Crab is nice because, well, if it is able to reach the Dante, it should do quite good damage, but I'm pretty sure it's on the wrong side of the hill. And it will tire to fire at the Dante. And I mean, eh. It's trying its best. But it won't succeed. Anyways, Crow is up. Crow, very expensive. 4,500. And of course, also a lot of HP. 16,000 even. It's kind of strong. But also it needs to have a target. What is the target for it? Is it uh, this triple crab place? I mean, triple crab. That, that 
does look quite juicy for the crew. And they're moving now. Taking down the Merlin, I mean 3500 versus your 4500, you're almost making cost if you kill it. Though of course, not really that simple because it would die in their territory. Which means that all of the reclaim would be for them. Uh, but it's fine. Right, Fleas going forward shouldn't be effective, but yeah, Merlin is effective at killing Merlin, since they're both the same range. Right. Over here, toads fighting, like, just wasps. Sure. Over here, Scorpion. Well, Scorpion is strong. It's cloaked. It's cloaked strider. Really nice, of course. However, what will it be able to do? Over here, Juggernaut moving forward with... Well, that's five jacks. If they're able to catch something, it's not too bad. However, what would be their target? What's going to be their target? I don't know, and they're pretty much on their own. Right now, at least. So, Crow? Maybe target this. Maybe. I mean, I know it's probably not the best target for you. But it's also not that bad. Since, well, two little to toads doesn't kill a crow. Just because of how much HP it has and all that. And over here, well, bandits moving forward. Raiders really nice, but you need to scout the phantoms or you need to kill the merlin, but you're not going to be able to kill the merlin. Since the hill is too steep and you're slowed down massively. Over here, Widow was able to stun the Cerberus. And Liko just nuked Nimbus. Right. Always great. So, Dante's cloaked right now. Really nice. Um, yeah, let's see how this position is going to stack up. Seeing well, there isn't that much over here. Cerberus will be up relatively soon if it's being focused, which is currently not. But there are quite a couple of units, actually. But still, Dante, Dante should be able to deal with it unless they are shielded well enough. Glaives, of course, moving forward is really nice, and Scythe as the scout. Also, should know that, yep, in a couple of seconds, uh, this little Cerberus is up. Cerberus, though, what's it going to hit? It will need to be on high arc, I'm pretty sure, to do anything. And then its target would probably be Dante. But I don't know. I think it's Dante, right? Now it doesn't need to be on high arc. Not firing at the Dante, it's not even trying. What are you doing? Do you not want to hit your own shield? That makes sense, actually. And the Dante goes down anyways, because it was stunned. Really, really nice. Also, Scorpion over here did go down. And over here, uh, beautiful. Yeah, sure, go away. I'll be trying his best, but it will be thrown back by the Juggernaut. Nicely done. Right now... Artillery pieces are starting to make a lot more sense. I mean, over here we've got a big shoot ball with felons and all that, Cerberus. Down here we've got a couple of lands still, which, well, isn't the, the best target for artillery, but it's not bad. I mean, guarded by mace, so raiders aren't going to do a lot. And Merlin as well, right? Up north, well... This position, it looks quite strong. And it actually is. I mean, Dante isn't able to push it on its own, which makes sense. But you really shouldn't have a too difficult time pushing this, I feel. I mean, it's mainly anti-air, which is currently here. In general, ground units, you've got a couple of bandits and a couple of th one thug. Here, it's one moderator, a couple of spiders. It should not be too much. I don't think so. I was like, who is finding desires? I don't know. Don't scare. Are you also saying that you're not scared of this? I mean, it makes sense, but widows could ruin your day. And it kind of did. It kind of did, yeah. Since, well, otherwise your snitches would really be effective. Because doing a nice job, just killing things, maybe. Not sure if they actually killed anything. Since the commander is still alive. Go away with your Elder Scroll. And well, over here, you've 
starting to mass a lot of ravages. Those might be able to do something soon. And over here, just going to get economy and all that, that's fine. And they are going to the south and then to the north, alright. Yummy holding the position with the teammates really nicely. And well, look at the units. Half of it is just shield. However, here we only have one Ravager, and, and that's pretty much it, yeah. How? That doesn't make sense, right? Merlin, shooting, and yes, that's effective at draining a single shield, but like, eh. That's not too bad. And over there, well, not really a lot going on. Wow, make scythe. We're starting to get a couple of really juicy looking singularities over here. Uh, yeah, these could, do, these could go up in flames or a nuclear explosion really nicely. Let's just say that much. Over here, another Dante will go down. Nuke and Commander nuked and there goes the Dante as well. Right, uh, this could be bad. Losing another Strider. Over here, your Cerberus will be fighting back as much as it can. Um, and down here, you do have a lot of units stacked up. Value, 16,000. That's a lot. Yes, both players, or like both teams have lost like 110,000. So it's also not that much. But, I mean, look at these forces. But, yeah, ultimatum. It does boom, it does boom, and boom, and they're all gone. Right, uh, ultimatum, generally a anti-strider, but that doesn't mean it can't deal with jacks. Those are melee units, melee units. Uh, they don't have a lot of range, so they get out range by an ultimatum. Not a lot does, at least like, well, it's a very useful ball to attack with your ultimatum. Because you probably won't lose it. Why do people want to keep drawing in this game? Especially like this match, I don't know. Nicely stunned Scythes. But what did you actually stun do? Yeah, she stunned one shield. But that's it, you didn't stun the Cerberus, not the Merlins. Effectively, not a lot. So yes, EMP'd, but that's it. Over here, that's now oh, not the Knights. Not those. The lance, four lance. Zip. That's a lot of alpha damage. That's twelve thousand. Merlin for attrition. Now finding out about these ravagers. Yes, there are a lot of them. But also there is a lot from the enemy. Yes, yes, there really is. I mean, look at these knights. And then of course the damage dealt by those lance. I mean, they kill multiple units. Even though they're mainly single target, but like pass through damage once you kill it is still effective because it's like over three seconds, over one second burst time. What makes you want to quit? This. Oh, I missed something here. Probably something of high value went down or like... Probably snitch. I assume it's a snitch. Oh, great Glaze! Glaze finally doing a lot and... The metal extractor not being overdriven anymore is quite important since it's an expensive metal extractor. But still, look at the economy. It's not looking good for Team East in that way. I mean, they're in behind in the economy by like a hundred. That's a lot. It really is. Let them have it. No, don't let them have it. Look at this metal extractor. Metal extractor? 31 metal. One metal extractor. This one 6.4 because it's a worse metal extractor. This one should be joined up again and then it's also a 30 metal metal extractor. Yeah. Um, that's a lot of your economy. In just a couple of extractors. Keeping that position is probably worth it. Over here, Widow still just sitting there. Not too bad, not too bad. I mean, it should find out about the Paladin, except for the fact that, of course, it's not scouting, like, not actively. And over here, well, 
A lot of wind. A bunch of wind for Team East. Which means that their energy income will be highly dependent on like the wind speed. Right now, last time one. Soon, it will be two and a half, which means that they'll pretty much double their economy. Well, not really. They'll get a whole bunch more economy. And that will, of course, also drive more overdrive. Oh well. Melon's just fighting back. I mean, shield is not that strong, actually. And someone is starting a super. Right. Where are you starting the super? And what super are you starting? Yes, I could have, of course, gone to the notification. Probably. But, uh, oh, over here. What are you making? Ooh, a starlight immediately. Very nice. So, over here. Well, a bunch of singularities. However, I do also see something that, uh, well, likes to blow up the singularities for you. Except for the fact that they're not really focusing on it, and now we have a turret. But it's not in time! Yep, that was five, six of them. And uh, that was a bunch of your economy as well. And those things give you like 225 each. Yes! Um, that hurts. That hurts a lot. How can they build six singularities in a row like that? Um, since you didn't stop them, they were able to do that. I'm pretty sure they were not even told it was a bad idea. And Lico doing nice things, as in, like, shooting a nuke at a flying jack. One of them hit, the other one missed. But uh, this is a lot of DPS still, and a lot of HP. Harpies do, when slowing down the jacks, should be able to clean them up without too much difficulty. I mean, jacks won't likely hit. And their damage will be limited a lot as well, because of the slowdown. Over here, one single Ravager is still alive. So, I mean, yeah, it's it's just sitting there, menacingly. Right. Uh, go away with your drawing. Cerberus fighting, fighting a good fight and trying to kill those Ravagers, but when one dies, another one will take its place. Up north, well, they were told that they could have the position and they'll try to have the position as well. However, currently, look at that eco. Not looking as good anymore, Team West. Yes, you're still ahead in the economy, probably. But it's not by as big of a margin as it was before. Also, what I'll do, because I should be able to do that, is that. And go on. Right, should clutter it up a lot less. Kind of got I could do that. And over here, well, Antonyuk should be up soon, as in, like, defended soon. But, uh, yeah. Merlin should also move forward soon, and then it might not be as defended anymore. Over here, a lot of units, but why are they here? Yes, you were told that they could have the position. But did they also say that you could have the Antonuke? Or like they could have your Antonuke? I don't know. I don't like giving up a position this easily. Since there are just a couple of phantoms. Like not a lot is over there. So you should really be able to hold this position without too much difficulty. Have enough anti-air to kill all of this nim these Nimbus or at least keep them off. And, well, you shouldn't have too much difficulty in holding the position. Right now, you're giving the, them a lot of economy. Maybe you're just waiting for your super to go up, but that will take a long, long time. Yes, you do have a lot of eco or in just, like, reclaim over here because of your teammate. But, uh, yeah. This will still take, like, 20 minutes, let's say. Probably a little less once it's focused more. But like, let's even just call it 10 minutes. Still a long time. So, by that time, these maxes will be paying dividends by a lot. Over here, though. Uh, yeah. 
We've got an ultimatum in the back of the base. And over here, we don't have a fully constructed detriment. But it's already worth 18,000. And that is a lot. And there is a paladin out as well, but you won't be able to catch up to that anytime soon. And over here, check please, starlight. Did you say check because you know it's there? Or did you say... Right, I don't know because now you're the one telling them there is a starlight over here even though I don't think you have any units close. Anyways, over here. Well, oh, watch it. And it has been discovered and well, it does still have like 2000 HP. Does kill one little commander. Should be able to get out of range of the Lotus and it does. Now what? Ravager will be coming this way, but in the meantime, yeah, there goes your detriment. There goes your strider hub, your factory, and a whole bunch more. Of course, the... Good job, yeah. Of course, the ultimatum did also go down. But that was a price they should have been willing to pay, and they did. Like they were willing to pay that. Because otherwise they should have re retreated a long time ago. Anyways, what's funny over here, I don't know. The fact that they are... Nope. They are reclaiming it. I don't know if they're going to construct one there, it doesn't look like it, so I don't know what's funny. Anyways, two spider factories. Right? Um, I only see a plate. Why do you want a second spider factory? This is jump pots, this is spiders. I can't see what's over there, but I don't think... No, that disco rave. Probably not the best thing to construct over there. But it's not a second spider factory. I don't know what they're talking about. Anyways. Let's see. Ultimatum over here. Will still take a while. And Starlight. Well, 30 minutes. I mean, it's not being focused by the other teammates. So, well. Yeah. Probably not going to be constructed anytime soon. Over there, Paladin v Paladin. Who has the better support? Well, there are a couple of Merlins over there for Team East. And there are a couple of stationary knights for Team West. But they also have a crew and Merlins and another Paladin. And yes. Um, well, your Paladin is still alive. Crow is heavily damaged. And well... Paladin for Team West is moving forwards. Will yours survive? Probably, at this rate. And it does, yep. Other Paladin will go back. Your, like, second Paladin will try to stun it. Your first Paladin does, in fact, stun it. But now what? I mean, ooh, no, a boom. Yep, that's actually the Paladin for Team West. Gone. The other Paladin on their side will stay up for a long time. Or at least for a little while longer. And, well, this one will also stay up. The one on the uh, Team East side, actually. Uh, why didn't I just do a count? Okay. Well, what's over here? Just factories and all that. Not too much of importance. Over here, still snipers being really annoying. And with these mines, the fleas won't be able to do a lot. So, uh, yeah. They're actually quite well defended, all things considered. Scotchies will be taken down slowly but surely by the Nimbus. And, well, up here, knights being healed up. Paladin might be healed up a little bit. And another Cerberus will be constructed. So, what's happening right now? I uh, see that some people are trying to make explosions happen. And it's working. Very nice. Snipers will also be annoying, but hey, there come the dirtbags. We have seen surprisingly few dirtbags this game. And why are you just sitting there? 
pretty much going to be destroyed by your own Merlins? I don't know. But it's happening, and it probably shouldn't be happening like that. Anyways, Cerberus over here. In the range of, like, energy pylon, so we'll be trying to attrition down Team West. And honestly, look at the attrition. It's 80% for Team West. They're like 50,000 behind and in the economy itself right now. A little bit, not too much, but like 10%. And snitches, snitches go boom. Yeah. Uh, soon, maybe. Not right now. Snitcher is moving forward. I mean, what's over here to snitch? That's right. A lot of shield ball. Just look at the number of felons over here. That is a very good target. Getting close, getting close, getting close. And right there. Oh no. A boom. Was it a good thing that the placeholders were able to stun them in place? I mean, maybe. But uh, you also didn't retreat your other units, so maybe not. Over here, another three snitches. Did you learn your lesson? It seems... Not. Boom. Where's your Merlin now? Where's your shield ball now? It's gone. It's a whole lot of gone. Right. Over here, Scorpion could move forwards in the future. And, well, it has a straight line to Singularities without too much opposition. So, could be useful, but right now it's not being used. Over here, Merlin's attacking the Paladin. Really, really effective. Surprisingly so. Merlin's are very as expensive as artillery pieces, of course. But, I mean, it's working. So it's also not too bad. Attrition should be good if you would look at just the number of Merlin's Team West still has, but uh, yeah, it's not. Not right now. Mr. Silo will be up soon-ish. It's at least under construction. And over here, well, a lot of claws, but that's not a big deal for just one Paladin. However, enemy Paladin over here... Eh... Another Paladin down south. Nope, that was your shot. Never mind. And, well, yeah, Paladin will be going back again. Just because there is no support. And on its own, it's not able to do that much. What flying unit was coming this way? Was that just a Swift? In which case... I mean, in that case, it's not exactly good if your Artemis is shooting at that. Since their missiles are a little expensive. And... Cost under 90, ooh. Not sure if that's a good target state for your Artemis. Not sure how much they cost exactly, those missiles, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's more than 90. Over here, well, wind is gone and uh, fleas go over the wall and have quite a good amount of DPS. Shooting into the fleas with inaccurate weapons it didn't cost you too much, but it definitely could have been bad for your anti-nuke. Enemy Artemis, of course, hitting the anti-nuke is probably even worse, maybe not, but uh, it's definitely not a good thing. Over here, Paladin being defended really nicely by those glaives, and crew will have to go back. Was that a commander? Was that a Paladin? What was it? Ultimatum. That also makes sense. And a lot of Berlin shots again, but most of them missing the Paladin since, well, just like Recluse, they're very inaccurate. Shooting uphill, it's not a good thing. Over here, back just being annoying. I mean, look at this pathing. It's, like, non-existent. Um, yeah, especially for your own tanks. So pushing this position would have to happen just over here. You can't really use that anymore. Over here, Paladin, yep, 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 and, well, Scorpion does discover fleas, uh, but it's not shooting at it, and now it's stationary. Uh, okay, you do target the Stinger, but, uh, yeah, the Gnats know about you now, and that means you are now stunned, and the crew 
might have an active weapon manual whack weapon for you soon. Not yet, but uh, there go the gnats. And there comes the crew. Boom. Once again, crew beat Scorpion. So, up in the middle. I mean, we definitely do now have a middle, top and bottom, like north, south, middle. Oh well, we didn't before. Over here, Flea is now for Team East, actually moving forward and not exactly being useful. I mean, they're not beating the Gnats 1v1. Even though, like, Gnats don't have any d damage, but, uh, well. Still, of course, not exactly good to have your Flea stunned like that. It didn't accomplish anything. Not even real scouting, because you already knew about the Gnats. And over here, well, Paladin slowly but surely going up, and th the tanks, they're not able to go up there. And now, raining down from above, 22 Nimbus! And uh, that is uh, one hacking dead Paladino. Yep, it's gone, and Merlin's now once again shooting, and... Paladin survives. Right. Team West, your attrition is looking worse. Worse and worse by the minute. Economy, you're also behind right now. Let's just look at army statistics, army value, everyone, yeah, also not exactly good for Team West. I was like, what happened to Green? Did you like go AFK or something? I don't know. You had a lot and now you don't have anything. Right. That wasn't a detriment, it was, I don't know actually. Somehow, they lost a lot. In a very short time span. Paladin still surviving, I mean it's full HP and all that. It's not looking good for Team East, uh, West. It's good looking very good for Team East. With a uh, 25 Nimbus right here. Cloaked. Yeah, you do know that there is a cloaking unit over here. You don't know what is cloaked. Maybe you do. I don't know if you know. Uh, but uh, Merlin, not exactly traditional anti-air. But it does hit. Come on, why does it do that? And Nimbus will now have to go back. Even though there isn't actually that much real anti-air. They're also like not able to stay here. Just because of like the other units which are close by. Right. Um. Yeah. Energy income still looking, looking phenomenal for Team West. 1800 versus just 900. And most of their eco, as in like Team East's eco, is in wind turbines. At least a lot of it. Maybe not all, but a lot of it is. And over here, a Shogun. Shogun time. Yeah, land boat and all that. Throwing them around with lobsters. It's fun. But how effective is it? Eh, we'll have to wait and see, actually. Over here, Skilla. Skilla might be even more important. Tactical nukes on demand. Yep, okay. Over here, Ravager moving forwards. Eh, not too interesting. Paladin behind do. That is kind of important. Yes. Uh, Gnats. How many Gnats do you need to stun a Paladin? I don't exactly know, but I do know that, well, the crew is doing its best. Which doesn't seem like it's enough. As in, it really doesn't seem like it, because it's being stunned. Since it's the only target for the Paladin, and that means that the Paladin is able to run out of range. Yeah, I mean... There come the Gnats, finally. And the Gnats... ...do manage to stun. And now the crew comes back, and it's also stunned. It's a stun fest. It really is, I mean, well, the Locusts are doing most of the damage right now to the Paladin. Which is probably something you don't expect to hear. Especially not in these numbers. I mean, it's not even as if there are a lot of Locusts. But the Gnats are able to perma-stun the Paladin. And the Gnats are dealing damage. And the other paladin is not exactly saving its teammate. I mean, if it wants to save it, it needs to focus on the gnats, even though those are, of course, very cheap. I get that. But it would allow the 
other paladin to go back into the fight or even retreat. Currently, it's not looking good for the paladin team. Except, uh, yeah, there it goes. That goes the first paladin. And nukes in the background. Nice. Also, Shogun in the background. Let's see what that thing is up to. Nuke launched. Oh, no, no. There goes your nuke. Right. And there goes another bit of something. Don't exactly know what. Look like snatchers to me. But I'm not sure. Right. Where does the nuke go? It has to go pretty much here. Because everything else is defended. There goes. Nuke. Didn't get the Shogun. So that's still alive. And it also, uh, yeah, didn't get these Paladinos. However, this one was probably not necessary to kill with your nuke anyway, since there it goes. And one on the, in the south, well, it's not being pressured too much. However, it also doesn't have any, like, very dangerous or, like, damaging targets. What is this thing? The starlight? Yep, it knows what it wants. Which is, go like that. Into what, though? Because yes, you want to go here? That's fine. What's over there for you? Because in my mind, this, with like Shogun, Merlin, Paladin, this Paladin, is a little more important than just a couple of factories. Right now, at least. Right? Stopping this push over here is a little bit uh, interesting, I would say. So, let's see where the Starlight actually goes. I mean, I assume you've got a good target in mind. So, let's see what the target is. Because I have not really discovered your target. Except for, like, well, maybe this Starlight, but it's not going to be up anytime soon. And it's not actually what you're, like, aiming for right now. So, what does the Starlight manage to do? It's killing little bits and pieces. Now it's focusing on something that makes sense, but oh, That's a little annoying. It's a stunt thing. Yeah. Um, and another stun missile coming in. Right. How about that? Uh, yeah. There is a certain missile silo in range of your starlight. Generally, not a good thing. Or it was the Paladin, but I'm pretty sure this was a nuke silo. But even if it isn't... Yeah, no, that definitely is a nuke silo, however, it is all the way over here, it seems. Is that in range? Uh, let's see, orders, I can't see that. Damn it. But I'm pretty sure it's this one. Or that one. One of those two. And, uh, yeah. How long? 33 seconds. How's the starlight doing on this side? Six minutes. That won't be able to save or like kill the enemy starlight. You'll be able to keep it offline for a long, long time. But then what? I mean, yes, it is of course 45,000 which is just held up in a stunned starlight. And in the meantime, you're of course able to push with your, uh, well, other striders and all that. Um, but is that enough to kill? I want to say yes. Yes, it is. But there comes the starlight once again. There it is. After being sunk in the ground. Right, where are you going now? You can here. Then where? You know. Ah. Right. You know. You need to take down the missile silos. Wherever they are. You might not know where they are. But uh, you're not fast enough. Right. And there comes the second. And the third missile. Right. EMP'd again. Skiller. Are you what they need? Because it wouldn't surprise me if the, like, missile silos here are not in range with their, uh, what are those things called again? The nukes. They're, like, technical. EOS. The EOS are not in range, I don't think so. However, well, Shogun is dead, so that's not in range anymore. Now, 
on a web, defending against EMP. Makes a lot of sense. How long? Well, only five seconds. Three, two, one. Back online. Now, will you defend it well enough? That is the question. And, ooh, nuke, it's over there. Where is it going? Is it going here? That would make sense. However, look at that on the other side right now. Starlight going up at the same time. If they rush for each other, the one from Team West will win. But there, ooh, no. It's stunned again. There goes the nuke into the silos. Two of the silos are now gone. So that's good. And over here, well, it's a lot of Nimbus. Starlight only has 10,000 HP. Sounds like a lot, but uh, it really isn't. There it goes. It's gone. Skilla did its job. Yeah, I didn't focus on the Skilla, but uh, yeah. Skilla did real nice things. I'm pretty sure it was the Skilla at least. However, now I can't find the Skilla. Which might have been over here. But I don't... Yeah, Skilla strong. That's what I thought. So, Skilla did its job and now Starlight to finish off. So, well done that you made it this far into the video. Consider watching the video in your lower left. But that's all I'm going to have for you today. And I'll see you in another video. Bye. Team West with both an army value and an economic value tank.